So, hello everyone and welcome back to another Advent Calendar episode. And we are actually going to be continuing a little bit longer with Dark, because there is a DLC called The Tower. And uh, if you do happen to have the game, do go and get the DLC, considering it's completely free, at least in good old games. So, seems like a logical choice. So, let's see what sort of puzzles we're going to be having in The Tower. Yes. It's not like there is any progress in the current chapter anyway, so what's the point? The only question is if I still remember all the controls well enough, because it's been a bit of a time. But I think it shouldn't be too difficult. Well, that definitely changed things quite a bit. Doesn't seem that I can continue in any way anyways at this point, so... Seems like a lovely freaking more place of course if i go here and then change the reality then i can definitely continue a little bit in here what do you do huh that way i could continue more but what would is there anything else in this weird devilish looking location oh well, definitely at least a head hi head guess i need you severed head since perfect absolutely lovely Ah, by the way, there does seem to be even the bridge in this world. However, it's not like we can actually cross it over here, so... No point in that, but we can cross it over here. Hmm. Still can't go down there from here, but we might from the other world if we can change it back into that. Severed head does not belong here, that's fine. So if we had something that would control that, or do something there, but we don't yet. A head into the pedestal. I guess we need a lot more heads in the pedestals before we're done with it here. What a lovely opening mechanism you just screamed. Screamed like crazy. Sounds perfect. This looks like it will be, like, opened up. Like, below my feet. There's also something here. A belt. Now that, I guess, will be able to control the elevator a little bit. That's my assumption anyways. Would seem reasonable. That's a huge freaking belt. <laughs> How did we place a belt that would somehow, like, be able to go all the way up there and down and all that? It does make sense how it is able to control this now, yes, but, like, how the heck did we do it? How... This is third floor. Fourth floor. Fifth floor. Okay. That's a... Uh, that's a lot of floors to go through. So I guess we shall start. Here we see a button to change our world clearly. And we have a button here. But we cannot go through this until we have something there to hold it. Alright, what about the other world? It's nothing in that way, over in the other world. This is definitely taking us somewhere completely different because... Yeah. We wouldn't be able to even get here normally. Now we can. I guess. Well, why was there... Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it's like... We are all the way over here. Is, was that also open the door in here? No. So what did we exactly achieve by that? We got here to be able to press this button that opens this door. But does it do anything else? Ah, that's an excellent question. It does seem like we can go here. So let's check this. What about now then? We would be on the roof. Uh, we can place something on top here. Whatever that might be. Can still just close and open the goddamn door though. <laughs> but okay. Interesting. That's uh, something to remember then for the later time. Definitely you can some new mechanics in dark. Which is cool. Um, I did say that I didn't enjoy the ending of the previous, well, the story bit. Because I didn't 
just the fact that I didn't enjoy it. I don't enjoy running away just full speed ahead. But uh, this is cool again, definitely. Okay. If you want to drop down something there. Okay. Again, don't have something that this would need. And this could maybe do something. I can at least find another goddamn severed head. Okay. Need something for that. Can I go here? No. An answer is a uh, wholeheartedly a no. But yeah, if we can get something here, this is kind of like clearly on top of that platform spot, which might be keeping something then open for us, but not sure exactly what's the purpose for it. Not yet, anyways. What about in here, then? Okay, got something new. A hatch wheel. And then some sort of a puzzle here to get another head. Ah. Alright, I gotcha. I do wonder what it means if you go into an electricity spot, and apparently that's exactly what I need to do. To get you to those all spots. This at least gets us one more. This gets us another one. And this can get us the last one. So easy. That just kind of worked out like perfectly just like that. Didn't even need to think. It just worked. It just worked. It just works like Dot Howard says about uh, stuff. So <laughs> it just works. Absolutely. It just, just works. What do you do? Okay. That's probably opening the gate from the below, right? Well, you did it. What is in here, though? Probably the one thing I need, extension cord. Yeah, makes sense. I know where that is needed then. Okay, thank you. That was nice. Let's uh, go back on top, though, because I basically only get this and nothing else. I can get this here again, but not like there's any reason anymore, but still, just for the fun of it, sometimes. I can see the outline here of the pyramid, and I can see kind of the pyramid in here, so... Ah, gotcha. This sort of a puzzle, of course. These are kind of uh, really old good ones. Actually, yeah. Let's just do it. These are just so old familiar ones that they're not... I may take more steps than I would need to. Not certain about that, but... Anyways. One just knows this because these are familiar. Good old familiar ones, so... Why did I do it like that complicated way? I don't know. At least, well, maybe I had to. I don't think I did, though. I should have just taken you straight into here. I was just like, yeah, I clearly have to do it the same way again. But these are so old puzzles, those that it doesn't require a lot of thought. You just do things and eventually get there. Even if you might have made a misstep at some point, you'll get there eventually anyways. And I'm sure I did indeed do a misstep. <laughs> it took longer than it would have needed to, but... This reminds me of the first puzzles, back in the day where there was the eye and the cross and so on, that you had to be able to do something with. If nothing else, I can get on top and see what's up in here. Ah, uh, another one of these. Yeah, this is the code that I would need to have. So last one would be this. First would need the key, then would need the cross. Okay, and then the eye, then the skull, and then this thing. I don't remember all of them, but this is the last. Key is the first. I can see the key over there. Uh, key, cross, eye. Need to remember that. Key, cross, eye, then skull. Key, cross, eye. Didn't need to do that yet. Key. Then need the cross. I think it was just straight into this direction. Yep. 
across. I actually probably need the one skull platform there at first, yep. Or I. I it is. And I don't have that yet, so I don't think this is a solvable puzzle actually as of yet. Oh, there is the eye, but there's not the skull. So, skull puzzle. Uh, so, either it's gonna keep and remember this for later, or it's not gonna do that. That is not something I do not know yet the answer for, unless the skull is on this side, which is also possible, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Yep, this takes us just to the eye, basically. So, not really a lot of point in that. So, yep, either it remembers it or it doesn't, we'll see later. We'll see later if it does remember them. So, was there still one more floor? Doesn't seem like it. I think on the second floor I had some stuff I needed to do. Yep, there's these things. There was, but I don't know still how to exactly do this one. I need something on top. I think, I presume. I need something to happen in here, and uh, in here at least I can do this stuff for sure, Wiz. Because I do have the extension cord. Okay. But what do I do with you then? kind of weird because I just bring the extension cord but I guess I still would need more or can I now connect it into here somehow nope doesn't look like it so I have an extension cord but clearly I, I've just put it into here but I still can't reach that doesn't feel like it doesn't seem like it I can at least go and check in here so that's good so that's, uh, I don't think it's possible yet. Was I able to go there? Doesn't seem like it. That just opens that. And I can't really place anything on top of it. Let's just try to make sure I didn't miss anything. But yeah, this is the door. I was there for sure. We is. I did everything I could in here to my knowledge. So let's check all the way downstairs. I do at least know I have a lot of heads, but I don't have enough heads, but at least I guess I can get rid of them from my inventory. But yeah, still need one more head anyways. This is gonna make such a lovely noise, ain't it? Ain't it just? It's interesting to be able to go there. Uh, I just need to figure them out where do I need the thing that I do happen to have. I don't think there was anything really that I could do here more, but I'll just make sure. Yeah, this is where I just came to get the head, and I can't really go and walk through this uh, teeth, fang, whatever you want to call them. So I don't think there's anything more in there, and sadly I cannot just go down there from here. And. Uh, it's not like there was anything special, yeah, I just could open this and I couldn't cross this anyway, so there was no point in going more into there. And this is just this, yep, 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 there was nothing downstairs. The second floor was uh, this weird location that I didn't quite understand the point of. Considering it's just a short distances, but I could open the door, sure, but still, it wasn't very much. There was something else here though, wasn't there? Or was there not? Hmm. There was like this, yeah, now I remember. Maybe in here I can use this? Yeah, seems like it. Alright. Looks good. Ah, here's the skull piece that I required. Just can't remember everything. <laughs> what you need in every single location after all. All the time. Can't remember all the places where you were missing something and needed something new. And all the way on top. Then I need to place the cotton skull piece. Walk over it. 
I guess it just didn't accept it anymore because it was a while ago, but that's kinda sad, all things considering. Well, fine then. Now I need to go from here, actually, probably. Yep. Because I think the cross was on this side, right? Yep. Cross. I. Then the goddamn skull. And then this thing over here. Which I'm getting to. Well, the way definitely opened up. Extension cord, another one. Yay. Let me down. And then... Let's just make sure there was nothing else there, but I don't think there is. Yep, doesn't seem like it. Understandable. Nope. <laughs> That's a wrong button to press, as in the... It's not a lever. I needed a lever, and I got a button. I think this was the right location. Yeah. Another goddamn extension cord. Now we finally got the power. Space to craft. Ah. Oh. Not exactly certain, however, what I need to try to do. Like, I can see that there's the one, two, three, four, five, six there. So I guess I need to open them, get this box through that area. But, um... Uh, then the numbers here, I don't really... I guess 13 would mean that I'll get 1 and 3, and 35 means that I get 3 and 5, and I need to just get all of those different ones. That makes kind of sense, yeah. But, um... Then just figure out what is the most... Like, usually I always go about this and just start doing things, because it's usually is the easiest way to solve things. You, you get it naturally by just... Just doing things. <laughs> just Okay, what sort of reaction do I get from this? You don't have to think, you just uh, do it. And uh, eventually you'll do it. Eventually anyways. No matter if you get it immediately or not. But so, 146. If I press 146, um, I will activate all of those. Yeah, and then 1, 2, 3 would activate those again, which would leave those uh, to be left. So then 13. It may be that I need to just press them all once. Because that does pretty good. That does pretty good. And then, like, indeed, I was thinking that if I now press 1 and 3 and 35, it seems like they all are gonna be going perfectly. I was just looking at that seems to be the case. So, yeah, very easy. That might be doing it. I think it does. That it's in the right spot. Yeah, it does seem like it. Perfect. Perfect. I was feeling that there should be something there. And now there is. But yeah, that's a little bit too easy of a solution though. A little bit too easy of a puzzle. Because it just you just click every button once. But at least I was able to figure that out without actually even starting to do those buttons. It's just like was I wanted to think this time around. Uh, you mean that we're gonna get our own head? Well, that's very dark. Getting our own head as one of the keys to solve the freaking door. Sure, let's get our own head. Perfect. Yay! Thumbs up for that. Seems like an extremely pleasant game for the Christmas times. <laughs> but anyways. So, our head. Severed head. It is certainly another severed head, that's for sure. Hi! Have our last severed head. So goddamn much screaming. Could I get my head back now? Would be nice. Would be nice. 
But I guess that's uh, not gonna happen. Guess that's not gonna happen. Well, a very well, we was short. It was basically just another chapter, just like all the other chapters had been just one chapter. Well, one chapter, a couple of chapters per episode. So very short, but it was fun, though very kind of. I kind of wouldn't wish to be severing our own head. Uh, that that's a bit much. It's a shame that there's no music at all in this like menu screen. That would be nice addition to have just a little, little, just something little. But overall, Dark was a fun game. I think I had fun with uh, solving the puzzles, even though some of them at least seem quite easy. Like uh, also the number thing, because you just use every one of them once, and that's that's it. That's solved. That's uh, as easy as solved. But, uh, well, I, it doesn't mean that I would be any better at doing all of those different puzzles. Definitely wouldn't always be <laughs> so much better. But anyways, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the Tower DLC as well. Thank you for watching. And uh, tomorrow, indeed, we will then be starting another game because there's no more DLC for this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.